Hey, yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Start Football, episode number 10. So, I mean, two more episodes left of this Let's Start Football um, series. This will be the last series um, of Let's Start Football. Um, I've got something new um, lined up. I'm pretty excited to do it, to be honest with you. I don't want to give too much away right now, um, because I'm not excited to do it, so... When the first episode drops, it'll be in two weeks' time, or should I say three weeks' time, because obviously we've got another two weeks of Let's Start Football. And then I'm going to start something new. Now, I don't know how you guys are going to feel about the new thing that I'm going to do, um, but when it's out, obviously you guys will see the first episode. Now, I hope you guys like it. I don't know if you will or not. I'm not going to give too much away. I'm not even going to tell you what the title's called. Um, I've literally been working on this one for a couple of weeks, um, just jotting ideas down here and there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I say, so I've got a few things in the pipeline worked up for this new series. Uh, I guess we call it a series, my episode, so it is a kind of like a series. Um, and I quite kind of want to see, I want to kind of want to see what you guys, what was, well, I kind of want to see what you guys think of this episode and this series when it does drop. Um, obviously, Let's Start Football has been very, very successful. Um, to everybody that supported it, um, big, big thank you to everybody. I mean, it's been absolutely immense. Um, for the first series, we have, you know, we as we know, we have many people on. Well, well, throughout both series, we've had my dad on, we've had my brother on. Um, obviously, I wanted to get other people on, um, but like I say, all things will be coming up, and, and hopefully we get some more of a special guests on the channel um, very, very soon. I've got a few people lined up who I want to bring on. Hopefully, hopefully in there, uh, obviously, very, very soon I get these people on. I'm sure it won't be a problem to get the people that I want to work with on. Um, obviously, as I know them, they are friends and whatnot, so hopefully you, some of you guys may recognise the people I want to get on as well. And hopefully they can be on the AJT channel. That is the uh, that is the aim. That is the dream to have these people on um, and for you guys to sort of experience new people being on the channel. So big big thank you to everybody that has watched every single or uh, maybe uh, maybe one or two episodes of That's Our Football. You've made this series a success, and I want to say thank you. But it's time to give it away in two weeks' time. Like I say, we're saying goodbye to That's Our Football. But it's one of the one, one it's obviously the it was obviously one of the first successful things that's come out on my channel, um, you know, series wise. So. Big thank you to everybody, man. Give yourself a pat on the back. I want to say thank you to everybody. Get yourselves a nice parmesan with loads of garlic on to say thank you to AJT. That's how I'm going to... If I had the money, guys, I'd buy you a parmesan for supporting the channel and supporting the series. But unfortunately, I'm not made of money. Do you know what I'm saying? YouTube ain't paying me enough. <laughs> but no, seriously, if I had the money, like you say, I would buy you one, but I don't have the money, so... Cheesy chips will have to do. I'm sure your mama, sure your mama or dad will uh, cook you some cheesy chips up. Dedication of AJT. But... This is Let's Start Football, episode 10. So, we had a bit of a crazy weekend, didn't we? I mean, football-wise, pretty crazy, to be honest with you. We had Roy Hodgson, Mighty Roy. Um, obviously, took his Crystal Palace side, and they beat... The, I mean, obviously, I mean, they beat the current champions, Chelsea. Mental. When I see that result, actually, obviously, I'm a Barnsley game, and it comes through, and I'm like, sorry, Palace are beating Chelsea. Palace, who are bottom of the league, remember? Um, amazing for them. Amazing for Crystal Palace, man. That was that was a proper proper mint result for them. Honestly, I mean, I respect to Chelsea. I actually put my super six, not disrespect to Palace, but I actually put I put four or five nil to Chelsea in that game. So that one took me by surprise. For the Manchester City game, actually, I actually put five nil, not seven two. Um, I say man, Stoke were unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're playing a team like Manchester City at the minute. They are on form, man. Pep Guardiola has got them playing fantastic football. Um, but as we talk about Premier League, obviously yesterday the live stream as well. Thank you guys for coming over. It had, um, it had, obviously, obviously, the views went amazing. You guys smashed the hell out of that like button. I don't think there's a like button left on YouTube now. Unless there's one. And if it's down below, smash that like button as well for this episode. Um, I say, man, you guys are absolutely incredible, man. I swear now, I've probably got the best community on YouTube. Not just saying that. I mean, you guys are incredible. The people that come over and watch my videos. So, like I say, man, the live stream went really, really well yesterday. And as you know, uh, a few of you have watched the whole live stream. Uh, shout out to Jamie who watched the whole live stream as well. Um, and obviously yesterday we watched a couple of episodes. I well, should say a couple of games. Obviously Derby versus Nottingham Forest was the first one, that big Derby. Uh, I enjoyed that game. I thought it was really, really good. Really, really good win for Derby as well. And then we obviously had the second game, which was Southampton versus Newcastle. Another good game, 2-2. It ended. Um, but in terms of the Crystal Palace game, we had a bit off track there. In terms of the Crystal Palace game... Um, they did really, really well to beat Chelsea. Let's be honest, man. They did really, really well to beat Chelsea. And uh, as soon as Chelsea got the 1-1, I thought, OK, Chelsea may nick this now, but not a chance, man. Pretty Crystal Palace were on them. Uh, defended really well in that game. And obviously, they got the victory. So, I mean, hopefully now, Crystal Palace, for their fans and their team and whatnot, and all their morale has been boosted. And hopefully, they can start kicking on now. Because, for me, Crystal Palace aren't a team that deserves to be in the championship. They have got a good team. They've got a great back of the fans. So, hopefully, 
hopefully Crystal Palace can kick on. You know what I mean? Because I, I like Crystal Palace, man. I'd like to see them do well in the Premier League. Um, but obviously, we talk the rest of the Premier League and stuff now. Um, obviously, we know new boys, uh, Brighton and Huddersfield. Obviously, Huddersfield got beat at Swansea. I don't think anybody's really backing Huddersfield to win that game. I actually did. I actually went for a 1 0 Huddersfield in that game. They're actually surprised with how well Huddersfield are pretty. Obviously, how well. Um, Huddersfield doing in the Premier League. I thought they'd be rock bomb by now, but they're actually picking up points. So they're doing pretty well. Brighton nearly, they nearly beat Everton. They were so unlucky to not beat Everton. But obviously, Everton, Everton Wayne Rooney got the penalty and one-one. Uh, and uh, we talked about the Championship. Obviously, as we said, Derby versus Nottingham Forest. Ex boy for Borough, David Nugent obviously got his goal. Uh, take it very, very well. Um, Wolves are still smashing that league, man. Wolves for me. If they don't go up the season, there's something wrong, man, because they have been absolutely on it this season. Wolves have been immense to watch, uh, and they're absolutely killing the championship at the minute. They've, they're playing really, really good football, invested really, really well in the summer, and uh, I guess they're on the team's fully gel now at Wolves, and they are playing some tremendous football. Uh, obviously, Leeds got beat. Pablo Hernandez missed a penalty, which is a shame for Leeds. Uh, you know what I mean? They've been on a really, really good run of form recently, so for them to get beat was a bit of a blow for them. Obviously, Butter, we all expected Butter to go to, um, to Barnsley and, you know, do something more than a draw, but that's all we could um, come up with was a draw. Disappointing result for me, personally. Uh, I felt like we needed to win that game, you know, for to sort of build momentum to go into uh, Cardiff on Saturday. Uh, another tough game, man. I mean, the Welsh boys are coming down here. They're, they're top of the table. Uh, the only positive, I suppose, we could take in going into that game is obviously, ba obviously Birmingham beat them on Friday, so hopefully... Hopefully I can go into the players and you, you know maybe, maybe thinking of home advantage. Uh, I don't know how many he's going to be there at the minute. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously Borough are playing very well at the minute. I don't get me wrong, we are scoring goals, but we're not really getting the results that we want. And the fans are pretty much getting fed up already, and it's really bad to see. I mean, I am especially. I mean, I, I'm obviously I'm not going to say I'm not. Um, you know, you guys have seen exactly how I feel, man. At the minute, I don't know what the crack is with Borough, but you know what I mean. It is what it is. Um, I hope we get something against Cardiff. I mean, if we beat Cardiff, surely then that's going to be the confidence booster. But I'm not. I say, obviously, I say, I'm not going to go into this one confident. No way. Um, I say, man, Cardiff, top of the tail for a reason. Neil Warner, fantastic manager, man. Absolutely fantastic manager. So, I'm not going to go into this one confident. But, you know, you guys will obviously see my preview for Middlesbrough versus Cardiff. Um, either tomorrow or Wednesday. Very, very excited to make that one, as I always am, for every single video I make. But, just to touch on something as well. Pochettino, Tottenham manager. I'm pretty sure, I read I may be wrong, that he wanted, one day wants to be the England manager. Now, I'm thinking to myself, if Gareth Southgate doesn't work out, now, I love Gareth Southgate, man. I love that guy. Obviously, I watched him growing up for Middlesbrough as captain. But flipping it, man, Pochettino. I mean, we've seen what he does at Tottenham. We've seen what, exactly the place he's brought through. I'm thinking to myself, if it doesn't work out for you, Mr Southgate, FA, you know what I mean? Knock on his door, man. Get him in charge, Pochettino. We win the World Cup, man. We win the Euros, man. We will be, un we will be invincible. I swear to that, man, he's such a good manager him, so, I mean, I saw that and I was like, flipping heck, man, that'd be absolutely crazy if he could manage England one day, that'd be absolutely nuts, and he'd probably be my perfect candidate that I was lining up, especially if he's going to, obviously, want to move away from Tottenham, which I doubt he's right now, because obviously he's doing pretty well there, but, in time, I mean, it'd be class to see him, let's be honest, it'd be class to see him as England manager, so, you know what I mean, we've got to kind of wait and see that, but, you know, who knows, man, like I say, you know, this is football, man. This is this is the hell that's football. This is exactly what it is. So, in terms of uh, obviously Tottenham got the first win at Wembley as well. I mean, this that's not football has been all over the place, but we're just ch chucking points at, just chucking points all over the shop. Um, Tottenham, Tottenham did really well as well. Uh, one, one, obviously finally, finally won at uh, Wembley. They got a really tough game midweek as well in the Champions League. They've got to go to the Bernabeu, which is obviously home of Real Madrid. Honestly, I'm buzzing for that game, man. I don't even support either team, but I would love to be in the Bernabeu a Tuesday night tomorrow night and watch that game. I think it'd be absolutely unreal, man. I can't wait to watch it on TV. Gonna make sure I got myself a big, large palm or my loads of garlic sauce in it. I'm gonna enjoy that match. I'm gonna enjoy the palms on too. Do you know what I mean? Because no matter what happens that game, I don't have to if I don't have to face the consequence of cheesy chips or palms on. I can have a night off, man. So happy day to me. Finally, a Tuesday where I don't have to worry about what I'm eating after the game. So yeah, man. Big up, man. Big up, big up, big up to that game. I'm looking very much forward to it. Um, who will win? Obviously, everyone's gonna say Real Madrid. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I'm in two minds over this game. Who's going to win this game? Now, normally it would be Real Madrid are going to win it. Do you know what I mean? But Tottenham, man. Tottenham are a good team away from home, you know. They are really, really, really good team away from home. So, if I have to give you a score prediction right now, right, on the on the Real Madrid-Tottenham game, my heart, right, my head in that, it's telling me a, it's telling me a draw. Um, I'm feeling a 2-2. Now, a 2-2 will be perfect for Tottenham, let's be honest. 
Maybe not so much Real Madrid. Uh, you know, their mindset might be on beating them. I actually seen today that I like, Tottenham like a hated team in Spain or something like that. So I don't really know much on that story. So I won't get too much into it. I've actually seen that that they're a hated team playing good football or something. Proper madman. But two two is what I'm going to go with tomorrow for the uh, Real Madrid Tottenham game. Uh, I can, I just feel a draw. I don't know why. I don't know why my mind's telling me a draw, but that's what I'm feeling. But I will tell you what, man, what a week of football we've got lined up, man. Champions League's coming up. That's the Friday night football. Uh, live streaming with me on Sunday. Don't you guys forget, every single Sunday, just to let you know, every single Sunday at 20 past 1, depending on what game's on, whether it's the Championship game or it's the Premier League game, I will be on live stream um, right here, sat like this, live stream with you guys. So, say, man, yesterday was awesome, man. So, yeah, thank you to everyone. But, yeah, like I say, man, great week of football coming up. Uh, obviously, Tottenham obviously got a confidence boost now going to Real Madrid. Um, and, like I say, man, Crystal Palace pulled off one of the, one, one of the results of the season so far. So, she was plenty more to come. Man City and to run away with this title, man. They are, I know, I know, I know. There's not many points away from second, but let's be honest. They keep putting performances that they did on Saturday. They have no problems winning this, this league. Uh, as for the championship, uh, I feel very, very surprised with Wolves don't cup this season. Tr truthfully, they're absolutely killing the championship. Now we do know it's a different league, but I experienced that last season. But it's down to uh, it's down to Wolves want to prove themselves. But but also, you know, we have to get something this month. Um, obviously, as you guys know, I'm going all over the, I'm going all over the chocolate butter. I've probably got the longest journey to a football match I've ever done in my life. I mean, next Tuesday, I'm traveling down to Bournemouth. I think it's like a 15, 14 hour round trip. So, hopefully, we get something, man. Hopefully, Borough can do something. Obviously, it's a cup game, and many people will say it's only the cup getting knocked out of it. Don't say that, please. I will be there. I have to do the journey. Please wish I Borough win. I know it's a cup game. I know it's distractions as well, but I'm going, man. So I want to see, I want to see a positive result. Um, so it's been a short episode of That's Our Football, but it's a bit of a roundup, do you know what I mean? It's a bit of a roundup. Uh, and like I say, man, we look forward to episode 11. I'll catch you guys, well, I'll catch you guys sometime this week for the preview. It's either going to be out tomorrow or Wednesday, but like I say, you guys will know as soon as you get notified. You guys have a good rest of your Monday. Enjoy the Monday Night Football, which is obviously Leicester v West Brom. Score prediction, 3-0 Leicester. You guys take care, and I'll see you again soon. Up the borough!